Good day, color crew. I'm Morpheus. Today is September 7th, 2024. I'm trying to find a way to turn the microphone up, but I can't. So I'm just going to talk louder. Okay, so I'm looking at the 3D environment. I'm going to pan out here, do a little bit of looking around. We see there are four exterior domes, and we see a main dome over us. Uh, what you see here in front of you is actually the information you would see in the game play. This is what you would see when you launch the game. You would have a choice between MetaMask or sign in as a guest. At that point, you would then see the second screen, which you're seeing, and because this one would disappear. Let's look at the uh, version number, so that way you can just see how I do these kind of things. Uh, what we do is we can do a lot of ways to navigate uh, to what we want to do. I'm just going to click on it, and over here I'm going to change it to be 20. Now, you may not see that. But evidently I added the QQ on it to it as well. So let me get rid of the QQ. QQ gone. Okay. So now, back to what I was showing you. You have a dome with four exterior domes, and I'm going to just look around here. I'm going to select one object down here. This is the environment that you see when you log into Call of Quest Sandbox. This is the early availability, so you can see the things we're testing or trying out. Uh, just go over here, we got a Sparky and satchel itself. Right there. And you, you can talk with people, you can type with people, you can walk around. And what we're doing is we're going to add in some elements that do things. So after a while, if you do an accomplishment, you will then be presented with a rock with slide. And when that rock slides over, you would then be presented with a way to continue on. And in that case, we actually have the cage I gotta turn on. Turn the cage on so you can see the cage, right? And I'm gonna select a rock over here so we can show you something that is in the cave, the labyrinth area. on the bridge up here. I'm going to pan around a little bit. See there's a water element. Now in the game, in the mode I'm in right now where I can go wherever I want, there's no need for the effects to be done. So these things you see are lights and effects and the water effects that are there. And so, but you're able to walk around the entire environment that's down underneath the moonscape from above. Uh, we currently have that running. Let me open up a new tab on this browser. And that's going to load while we talk about it, but it's at tagdow.llc's website. You'll see a link to go to the sandbox. And I do know I have one error on the load function, and I'll show you that error message, and you just basically click to advance. So I'm just going to go to my RAM and say join. If there's an error, I say OK. You Superman fall into the environment. And then you can look around. Everything I was showing you before is now doing animation. Before it wasn't doing animation. We have foes in the distance. When you get to the top of this hill, the space bar jumps. So on top of this, little tiny crater hill that I'm on. I see a sparky here. I see a dome in the distance. I see another dome over here. I don't see a dome over there. I already saw that dome. So that, all this stuff you've got to see here comes from doing
those functions. That's the update for today. Uh, to see this in action, go to the tagdow.llc website and scroll down. You'll see a link to Collar Quest, the uh, 2D land play. You'll see a link to Collar Swap. you also see a link to the sandbox. So take jump in, walk around.